Okay. Welcome back to Song of Horror. So, on my own time, I looked up what I was missing, and I'm sorry. I was stuck for so long. Ends up, those surgical shears I used, I needed to regret. That's as far as I looked into it. So, yeah, I walked back all the way to the body, I grabbed the surgical shears, and now I'm ready to progress. Am I happy about that? No. I, I could have avoided yes. that. And now we have working shears that I can use. I, I honestly don't hear anything. Ah. Oh yeah, Husher went through that door. All right, we want to go down the stairs. I am mad I did not look at the surgical surgical shears. And you'll have to forgive me. By the way, I finished work, but it is the weekend for me. It is, so, yeah, I finished up my week. I have energy. My goal is to beat this game tonight so I can render it and get it out tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> I have to set my alarm for a little later than I usually do. But yeah, surgical shears were what I was missing. Kinda sucks, not gonna lie. Alright, if I get haunted scriptorium where I'm going right now. Alright, we have progress in my hands. Get out of here. You see? Planned perfectly. Use! <laughs> Finally! I have it! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't open it for nothing. Kind of stupid to read your hand there like that. A bronze key. Shit. For a moment, it felt like touching Dad when he was, when he was. It's fine. Okay. We have progress. Okay. We can literally go up and go through that door now. All right. We got progress in my hands. First things first, before I open this door like an idiot. I love it. I think you're a bronze key. Hmm. Uh -huh. Progress feels good, guys. I am sorry for last time how that ended. I was just so tired, and I was still mad about how my one character died, and how I killed Ernest, and... Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to play that day, but I'm like, ah, I'm gonna try. And I got frustrated because I kept going around in circles. You'll have to forgive me. The next game, I'll tell you now, isn't gonna be that frustrating for me. I did thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, it's Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. There's a little, uh, hint for you. I know it's not a horror game. But it has horror type elements with Lovecraftian, you know, mixed in there. And I will say this, I am liking the game so far. It, it's actually pretty good. It's gonna be a short one, probably five episodes. Hmm. That's good. I make that myself, by the way. Got an espresso maker. And these books could even uh, have certain value. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, an important letter. Notes of botanicals. Partial instructions on how to make natural detoxer. The warehouse lock is absolutely covered in rot. Oh, this is the thing I did. Ah, I already did that. 
Oh, I skipped a few steps then, but I already did that. That way, if it haunts, uh. Oh. You go. Oh, wait. I don't know where you go. Mm -mm. Really? Oh. Rust, you say? Sorry for not reading. I am uh, still tired a bit, but I'm more energetic than I was last time. What is this? <laughs> Librarian's confession. Brother Arino's admission of guilt. <laughs> I locked up my brothers as though they were animals. I left them to die. What a shame. Okay. Remember, if it haunts scriptorium. Uh, with this, I'm gonna go back to the ballista. I can also open that door over there too. So yeah, that'd probably be smart. Now I could drop off the confession and hopefully nothing spooky will happen on the way. I have multiple events in this game that can happen at any moment. Joy or oh joy. I will say this. After RE2, this game was an amazing one to follow up. I should start horror. My plan was to start. I think you guys probably guessed this by now with what I've been saying it. And if you watch the RE2 playthrough, this was originally the game I was going to start October with. I got busy and I don't know this game at all. And it got to the point where it's like, well, let's start, you know, planning something. So. What I did is I went, ah, I know a game I can easily play. That's a horror game that I played many, many times. And so I played the original Resident Evil 2, but PC modded. That playthrough lasted, what, four episodes, two for each? Yeah. But yeah, I, I started with that because, well, I had things going on. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I don't think I have the, all the confessions yet, but I'm making a tarot deck? Oh, well, my friends just start playing Deadlock. I tried that for a match. I wasn't gonna make a video on it. It was okay. I sucked at it. But not like, oh man, I don't like this game. It's more of, the game's interesting, but I'd rather play it when it's actually finished. I'm one of those guys that don't really play early access. I'd rather play it when it's done. Some kind of gear mechanism with chains. There's a piece sticking out. Something must go there. Oh, I need to grab the gear from you. I have a reason to go back. Yay. But you know what? We're making a lot of progress already. It smells like rancid vinegar in here. Oily and dense. All right, we have a place to go. Gotta go the way of the oil clo- oh, blah, 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 blah. I have to go to the old cloister. Go to the refactory down. I hope not to kill another main character in this game. I also need to stop the habit of looking down at my OBS and I'm talking and look up at you. It's a habit I have to get used to because the moving images are down there. You're up there. <laughs> oh man, I am a coward sometimes, but also I'm still getting used to having these two things going at the same time. I want to know what the higher difficulties are like. Does it, do the events and the hunts happen more often? Are they mini games harder to do? Do they change up some of the puzzles and make them harder? I'm actually quite curious because I do not want to do them. Yeah, that way. 
Yeah. That, okay, yeah. Making sure, making sure. I haven't played this game in a couple days. I'd rather do the correct thing than the wrong thing. Alright, there's that. Now we go through the double doors. And now, if I am correct... Whoops! Nope! I went the wrong way. Uh... The gear was there. This tunnel doesn't look in good shape. Yeah. I have to go around. My bad. Uh, where was... Yeah, it was like right there, the gear, right? Yeah. But yeah, I'm very mad I left those surgical shears. I thought they were a one-time use, which is why I was looking up what to do just for that part. I'm like, he keeps telling me, to combine this to the surgical shears. I don't have them anymore. That's why. I was a little, I was a little mad at myself because I immediately left that room. You're probably yelling at me like, you fool, you idiot. Ooh. Um. Cool. All right. Up, up, up. And all right. It's not that far of a walk if you think about it. In a normal game. I keep raising my voice to the red. Knock it off me. There is a hiding place in here if I need it. I want to go out the other door, not this door, that door. I remember, baby. All right, here comes music. Come on, going by the visual. The visual is way easier than the sound for me for some reason. When that circle is closed, you just press both buttons and let go immediately. Do not pay. If you don't want to panic, just keep looking at the circle, nowhere else. Keep your eyes on the circle. Nice. But yeah, that's my way of doing it. No matter what, keep your eyes on the circle. If you're easily scared... Somebody wake me up already. Oh, nope, nope, don't run, don't run, don't run. Running's bad. But yeah, uh, that's what I do, by the way. If you get scared easily, don't look at anything but the circle. The circle is your friend. When that circle immediately turns white, well, not immediately. When that circle turns completely white, you just press the left and right trigger and let go. Rinse and repeat. And when that happens, don't panic. You wait, you go. I love how I was so terrible at that minigame when I first played that minigame, and now I'm like, got down pretty well. I don't think I'm gonna die immediately unless I really F it up. Same with the breath minigame. All the minigames, after the first time you really fuck it up, you... You get used to it, you really do. It took me a while, but you do learn them. I'm mad that I lost a few characters using the minigames, but that is my first playthrough. This game, I think, is made for multiple. I'm still sad Ernest died the way he did, and the guy at the beginning of the game died from falling out of a window. I'm not gonna explain how that one happened. But yeah. Oh, this is gonna lower the chandelier. What? The incense. Shit, I bet that was very old and very expensive. 
Oh, it's fine. It's not like anyone's living here anymore. They're all dead ghosts. I hope. I hope they're just dead, not ghosts, but... We all know that's not the truth. Can I mess with you now? It looks like... I don't know. I feel like you can interact with that, but you can't. Alright. Oh, the incense burner is actually broken. I have that. I do it. I have all three keys. Man, if only I wasn't that tired that one time I recorded. Now, do you go up here? I think you go up there. Or do you go upstairs where they were locked? I think you have to go over here. I'm gonna try that. Graveyard's right there anyways. Yes! We can beat this chapter! I can get started with the next chapter. Oh, there's gonna be two chapters in this one. It's gonna be a mess. On top of that, I can already tell this one's gonna be longer than two hours. Woo! People are not gonna like me for that. I have actually did chapters in my videos. I'm just not a chapter guy, I'm just... I don't have that much free time on my hands. Especially because this guy's... Yeah... Impatient with those types of things. There are some times I'll do them, like FF14 and a bunch of other games. I'm going this way. By the way, everyone, eh, I don't care if I got all the confessions or not for those tarot cards. My goal is to be game. I'm not aiming for 100% completion or this or that. On top of that, I looked up all the special items do. That one doesn't sound amazing. fresh blood a stone figure a sculpture of the Virgin Mary anything on her I don't know hmm. shit this thing is heavy or than stone it seems to be lead uh -huh. Abbott's diary how written okay 25th November 12 I ordered that all musical scores be burnt we place candles and lamps in each cell to no avail for the howling will not cease what kind of penance is this? What was our sin? We did nothing but sing. 29th November, 1912. If something should happen to me, the key will be safe. No one must find it. I shall entrust it to Our Lady of Candles. 8th of December, 1912. I must do something. I'm starting to lose my mind locked up in here. Every corner looks threatening, and every flicker of the candle makes me fear the darkness and what lurks in its depths. The brothers have asked me asked about Arino, Victoriano, Melchiesi, but I don't remember if I can't recall a thing. I close my eyes, I only see grotesque forms writhing in the darkness. What was happening to me? 11th December, 1912. An effigy, be worshipped, penance to save us, or those who may still find salvation, an isle with our own being, with our own immortal soul 13th of december 1912 they don't understand this penance they can't see it's our only path to salvation if indeed there can be such a thing no there cannot be i must have faith inscrutable are the ways of the lord 
the dark corner of my room. I feel his gaze upon me. I feel him drawing near when the candle blows out. I can't see. I know he is there. Calling me. Calling all of us. We must heed his call. Come, my sons. Come and share the typical vision. Let us bathe our souls in the dark light of the Holy Spirit. And behold, in all its glory, the horrible beauty of God. Oh, he what won is this? I didn't know a person could actually go beyond crazy. Um, he lost it. His eyes give me a creep, especially now that I know what he did. A wood figure. Anything special? No. Hands in the door frame. I've seen this before. The dark hands. Play how they're put everywhere. Oh. Jeez, man, what did you do? Don't do that, lady! Bloody hell! What the fuck is this? It's the effigy he made. Oh no, fuck no, this can't be real. It's damn, that damn figure. The black figure that Dan talked about, and Daniel! Can this be happening? What? I can't believe someone's left a roll of paper right here. Okay. I'm very tempted to doing that, but because I'm so, so far, is that death? Um, yes, I am cheating for this one thing, please, people. Um, no, it is not death. It's in fact his confession. <laughs> I let my children stray away. I cannot save them now, only redeem them in the eyes of God. <laughs> Wax Virgin Mary. Oh wait, what? Yes. Oh, there's something inside you. I think Mary is hiding a secret. I'm keeping her. Yeah, we're going to the oven. I don't like this place. I immediately want out. This place is... Not great. On top of that, those forms. Oh my god, that form. Those are the silence ones. Those are the hush. Those are the ones that... Holy shit, he's hanging there. On the hook. Oh. Those are the things that will chase you. If you breathe. Yeah, no, the abbot was disturbed. On top of that, every person mutilated in there, those look like the black things. So, uh, my goal now is to get to the oven, which is all the way down there. Get the wax figure, do whatever I need to do with it. Open the door, beat the chapter, and... Beat the game. But yeah, you have to forgive me for cheating for that one thing. It's just, I am nearing the end of this chapter, and I just don't want to lose another one. You have to forgive me when I'm breathing my mouth open. Luckily you can't hear it. I don't think you can. I do that sometimes. I'm scared. Oddly. 
All right, we're going to turn in the confession first. Even though it's minuscule for what I need to do. Like this room at least kind of feels comforting with the music in the background and the fire. It's actually not bad compared to the other rooms. Abbott's room is just completely deranged. He was gone. He was not there anymore. He wasn't something else. All right. I don't know if this is the last confession, but I'm going to just turn it in and leave. Hiding place there if I need it. All right. Hey, man, I got a confession of the Abbot. He's a disturbed figure. Very disturbed. Uh, all right, I got... Oh, that's all of them. I just completed the tarot deck. Oh, okay. All right, we know where I have to go. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it, man. Oh, yeah, also last time I was getting my phone blown up. So that was also distracting me. I got a lot of things just... Add up for a bad time. It happens. Life is a thing. Uh, but yeah, I feel... It's always funny. You come home on like a Tuesday night and you're drained. You try and record. Nothing happens. And then you record on a Thursday night. Beginning of your weekend. Even though you work the same amount of hours and everything. You're like, I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's like the magic of your mind. It's like, I will work tomorrow. Who cares if I have to sleep or not? Yep. Okay. Let's burn Mary. No, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. This way, that way. Now, I worry how this chapter is going to end because. Some chapters have had instances that will instantly almost kill you, and other ones have just ended. Like, the first chapter, I think, ended. The second one had that thing in the basement. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, wait, what? I gotta use more than just you? Uh... What I need is to stoke the fire. The bellows. The new cloister. I remember seeing the bellows as the guy. The bellows. Wow. Really? Of all the things I remember, the bellows. Everyone, I kid you not. I, I, it's like something that just went in my mind. I just remember the bellows when you were the author guy. He's like, I don't need these for anything. Yeah, Husher. Husher mentioned the bellows. Because we found bellows. And he's like... I don't need a pair of bellows. I'm gonna look at a mirror and probably die. Ah, uh, Husher, you do you. But yeah, the bellows. Was it in the dormitory? It was in the new cloister. It might be in the dormitory. Which is so cool. There's a hiding spot in there. Alright. This door's the granary. No. It was... It's, Sebastian clearly saw the bellows. He, I pointed out the bellows when you looked at him. It has to be one of the rooms. The dormitory is my guess. Was it the door? It was a room he was in. He was looking at stuff. And there were bellows. And he's like, ah, oh, bellows. I don't know if the bellows are in here or not. No. This isn't the bellows room. I think it's up north. Man. Still, that is the oddest thing I remember. I need to stoke the fire or something. Thanks for scaring me. I 
Her figure scared me. I do not like that angle. Happen? Okay, that's done with, but that angle sucked. I was behind a pillar the entire time. That could have screwed me. Now, where were the bellows? Were they in here? I, I honestly... The, the bellows. The, the wooden thing that pumps up and down. The bellows, people. I need them. Nope. I feel like I'm getting close, though. I remember the... Oh, no. Where's it in... It's upstairs? It might be upstairs. It might be upstairs where the you, you, you combine the parts for alchemy. Oh, I gotta go back upstairs. Uh, might as well check the bathroom. Yeah. I think it's upstairs. Damn it! I remember the bellows! I don't remember where the bellows! Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll check the next room. We'll slowly move my way across, but the bellows were where Sebastian, Sebastian P. Husher was. I found the bellows. He's like, oh, those are a pair of bellows. And I'm like, wonder if those will come in handy. Do you have bellows? Wait. Oh God, thank you. I could kiss the person who fired up that brazier. Bellows, bellows. Right. Yeah. I'm happy now. Okay. Wow, that knowledge I somehow carried with me has come in handy. Why, of all things, do I remember the bellows? Alright, if it hunts, just run to the refactory. Or run back. Yeah, we'll go down. Do all that. Yeah, I, I... You gotta love games like this sometimes, because then you learn where your mind's at. And I don't know where mine's at. I just know Bellows. With a hiding place in that room. Okay. Oh, that was a wor fast working Bellows. Jeez. Melt, Mary, melt. Um, wow, this piece of junk could actually. No, that looks huh. yes. Shit. Why am I so impatient? Oh. Huh. We have it. We have everything. We know where we need to go. Let's finish this chapter, everybody. All right, there, there, there and there. Dormitory. Then up the stairs to see the horror that awaits. <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. It's the fat one. No, no. 
Oof. Messed up once. Once. Damn, that was too close. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get out of here. And the question is, who are the last playable characters in the last chapter? Because I do not want to play as Daniel. He's clearly the main character of the game, and if I kill him, I'm gonna be very, very, very sad. And I'd be ashamed to play his ex-wife, because I want to kill her on him. Don't think you'd be too happy about that. I know I'm gonna die in the last chapter at least once. I've died many times and I don't think I should have, but <sighs> now here we go, everybody. A staircase and a door. Which way should I go first? That's always a good sign. Forgive me for my sins, dear Lord, I beg you. You have to be kidding me. I have no need to read religious bullshit right now. Poem by librarian. Four keys, four lock, and four locks are bears between life and death. Four brothers and four bonds resisting to suffer the same fate. The prior within himself insists the abbot trusts a figure, Victoriano, where the air is thinner, and I in the abyss. We locked up our brothers without trace of kindness. We trapped them, the others, because they found madness. And we, what have we lost? Did we leave behind our sanity? Dear brothers, forgive us, for we have lost all humanity. Huh? Fuck, the stores give me goosebumps, these four locks. Really? Oh. This door has been opened. Wait. Stop. Oh. Don't cross that door. It's the same door that I saw at Hush's place. Don't cross it. If he's in there, I should go in. I've uh, I've been there before. I Shit, Daniel, take care of yourself in there. Wait. Oh. Okay. Husha has to be in here. It's time to put an end to this nightmare. Locked. I'm listening to every door. I am not giving this game a chance to kill me. This is the room, isn't it? is happening oh god mr husher oh shit oh shit 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 mr husher oh, no 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 sebastian oh shit fuck oh he's dead fuck man fuck this is the same place the same room what's happening huh? oh sure he didn't make it. it he must have been dead for days and yet, he only left the day before. Wait, what the? What? No. Where the hell am I? H Hello? <laughs> Who's the girl? How come it looks like she can't see me? Argros the Grant. Hmm. Reflections and experience from the creator of the music box. I'll read it later. The diary. 
Sweet Jesus, no face. I've seen it in my nightmares. Um, I guess I'm going back the way I came. I don't know. What the hell? Is this one of those where you just keep running? It's quiet. Damn it, it won't open. Absolutely nothing. Wait, all I can see is faint. Where are you? I don't know, man. Uh -uh. Oh, wait, Ulrich says I tried that door. Well, it's gonna take a while, everybody. Shit, I think I'm gonna lose it. Holy shit, this can't be happening. I must be seeing things. Oh shit, Dan. Wake the fuck up, man. Daniel, are you all right? I'm alive, at least. Oh, Daniel. Don't worry. Let's... let's get out of here. Oh, no. My father. Now Husha. There are no answers, only more and more deaths. Erika, you need to get some rest. Try to put all this aside. I'll get to the bottom of this, no matter what it takes. I feel so... So useless. Shit, none of this makes sense. If I manage to make any sense of it, I promise I'll let you know. Come on, I'll take you home. I feel bad for her. I spent hours looking for Ernest, but found nothing. Nothing but lost tracks in the snow and fading footprints. I'm and sorry. Yet the signs were there. Deep down, a part of me already knew. There was nothing left but unanswered questions and sheer darkness. I'm sorry, Ernest. Husha died in there, trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go. <sighs> the same way that Father chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place. What I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much. Is this what lies ahead? Maybe I already know it, but I'm trying to hide it from myself. Maybe deep down, I know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me. Maybe I know that, like everyone who's come across that cursed box, I too will take my own life. That I would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody. I should burn the thing. Make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But what about Ariadne? She's alive. What if only the box can stop this? I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh god, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only hope the nightmares won't be as horrible as real life. I have a feeling you're gonna have nightmares as horrible as real life. Oh, that's the music. 
45 minutes in. Nice. This is going to be two hours and more. The horror in the song. I have no idea who I'm playing. Husha died in there, trapped. He probably struggled and screamed. Um, don't think I need to re-see that. I forgot these are episodic and they came out like months after each other. So that was used to, you know, refresh people on the story. That's why they did it. Everything's green. something there must be something here it's all right daniel all right father husher every single person who attended that cursed concert in the abbey the entire the grant amersburg family and i we all heard the song argos legrand's diary which i found in that place beyond reality was my only hope of unveiling something, anything that could take me down a different path than the rest. And yet, the Grant's note seemed like nothing more than erratic and incoherent ramblings of a broken mind, so demented that no one could put them together in any order, much less understand them. But I found something towards the end that made some kind of sense. Although, I wish I hadn't. It's all over. Just a moment ago, I, like every night, the song was invading my dreams, grating incessantly. I woke up, soaked in sweat, and veiled by the shadows. Natalie was sleeping, but I was not. This time, it had to stop. I was hell-bent on destroying the source of that awful song. I went down to the basement and tore down the same wall I built myself. With each blow, I cursed the moment I decided to bring that melody into my home. I couldn't take it any longer. There she was, behind the wall. My wife, huddled in a corner, holding Elaine in her arms. I froze. If Natalie was there, what kind of diabolical creature was sleeping by my side? Monsters. All of them. My beloved Elaine. Oh Natalie. no, he... The monsters had locked them away and wanted to take Ariadne. They wanted to take my baby. I grasped the mallet, determined to do whatever it took. I would not allow those fiends to take my daughter. Not without a fight. They would rue the day they tried to harm my family. I would kill the monsters and the black figure and find my little girl. I followed them throughout the house. Every room was shrouded in darkness. There was something unnatural in the air. The melody had transformed into a choir of black curling howls. But I finally cornered them in the bedroom. I finished them off. I drew blood, and it flowed like a well from the grotesque black figures while they screamed and writhed, the vile, deceitful fiends. And then, I went back to the basement, and there was nobody there. Natalie and Elaine had disappeared. No. That isn't true. They had not disappeared. They had never been down there. They were upstairs, in the bedroom, where I had left them. There were no monsters in the house, except me. Only me. Only me. And the presence. He 
kill his entire family because it tricked him thinking that he locked up his family. Mm. Oh my god, it ends like this? Wait, what is this? Jeremy Hartwood Mental Hospital, 1920. Psychiatric analysis and treatment of patient Ariadne Legrand Amsberg, Dr. Berenice Prestigard. Oh Christ, I can barely stand up. I really need help with this. Your thumb's clipping through the table. Oh. Oh. Etienne Etna Bert Bert Bertrand. A confident self-made man and sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etan is slowly giving him away. He's dead. Isn't he dead? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Did I kill him at the beginning? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Lydia Salgari, age 38, light source from humble origins, Lydia became a psycholo psychologist and social therapist after losing several friends to the heroin crisis of the 70s and 80s, when she committed to helping addicts to fight their own conditions. She met Daniel in detox therapy, and after his recovery, they became lifelong friends. Long life friends. Daniel considers Lydia his savior, but also a tireless comrade who you can always count on. Sophia. Let me see. I want to see if I can play him. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's the one. Yeah, okay, let's go with Lydia. Um, honestly, we're going with the wisdom tooth. Daniel only sent one person to the... Oh. Yep. Uh, make sure you tell her, hey, a darkness is going to kill you. Lydia, guess what? I need your help. I know, I know, I, I'm, I'm very sorry for calling this late, but listen, I found something. It's only a small lead, but it mentions everything and has the Jeremy Hartwood Hospital stamp on it. Yeah, that's the one. I, I, I know it's a bit far, but I, I think someone there, a Dr. Berenice Prestigard, read this diary years ago and looked into this madness way before we ever did. It says 1920. There must be something left of her. She's the skeleton lady that if was with the little girl. The hospital was abandoned shortly after World War I. So maybe everything is still there. Her notes, her files, something. No, no, I think... I think I'm running out of time. I feel bloody exhausted. I can no longer tell the difference between reality and my hallucinations. I need you to look for something, uh -oh. anything, and call me. I know it's a lot to ask, but I don't want to end up like the rest. And something tells me I should visit Ariadne one last time. Yeah, take your cell and call me if you find anything. As soon as I find out what Dr. Prestigard was investigating, I'll drive over to the Grant Amersberg mansion. Yeah, good luck to you two. And thanks. Interesting. Uh, let's see what the end of the game brings. Who's the poor lady I'm sending into this place? Oh, it's a wreck.
Jeremy Hartwood Hospital. An old mental health institution for the rich turn dump. Or something worse. Alright, what do you have? Inhaler, which... I need it for my asthma. Helps me breathe. Calm me down. So you're good calming. Okay. How you good at running? Okay, let's not do running. I can imagine the sound of water coming out of the fountain. The peacefulness of this garden back when the hospital was open many moons ago. Hey, birds. Shoot. Scram. Man, they're not afraid of me. I won't open. Okay, yep. Feels nice to play a character with a flashlight. Every time I do, I kill them. The police officer from chapter two. Sorry, man. It's obvious they were dismantling the place. I should take a look at that old power generator. <clears throat> Broken handle. Let's see how long this chapter is. Hope not too long, because I do want to finish this in one episode. Worst comes worse, I can edit out some running around. Hmm. And I have Cold Taurus Tooth, which I now know what it does. It will drop, I think I said last time in this record, but it's too, too tired to remember. Uh. It drops the tooth when you're about to enter a room where the presence is behind. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. The horror and the song. The last chapter. Daniel, you didn't overcome your alcohol addiction to let this kill you. I certainly won't let it happen. Oh shit. The panel controls and mercy power goes out, but um, it's not getting any electricity. Seeing that gurney there, I can only imagine the chaos this place was in. There's something I don't like the sound of. What is that? I really hope this is part of the attempt at dismantling the place. I think my skinny bum could fit in there, no problem. What am I hearing? I've always liked marine art. It sounds like a record. Well. There's a stapler on the other side of the desk. Oh. You no. Know, no. I don't like the, uh, rust. Alright, let's see. Someone messaged me on Discord. It looks like they never got around the movie yet. Yeah, I don't trust that window at the moment. Wait. Oh, I thought that said something. What is that? The building is in better shape than you expect for a place that's been abandoned for that long. It's still half ruins, though. There is a very disturbing noise. I hope you guys are hearing it. It's like a record player that keeps repeating. Man. Nope, not useful there.
I just saw the keypad. Don't know why I'm doing this. It's not gonna open. Yeah, I need a keypad. I'm just gonna do that so not I... that way. There we go. It's on the map now. <gasps> yeah, um, we're not going that way. What do we have on me? Nothing. Does the horror just stick around in places that it's already been in or something? Because you think it'd leave by now. All right, we need something. We need something. I'm looking for that something. No. No. something here don't make me grab the stapler that broken glass is what's stopping me from reaching my hand in there no th the glass that really sharp looking glass that's what stops me from just throwing my hand in there Can't get through here, it's too dangerous to move all that. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm gonna take us and say you can't get in here because that's where the stapler is. This room's a no-go, I'm gonna take a guess. Yeah, okay. That door is a no-go. If I need a hide, I have to go all the way back there. Oh jeez. have more coffee holy cow where that one come from i'm actually having a good time right now oh yeah just you know you want a life lesson kids i don't care how old you are if your parents text you always text them back it's always rude to keep them waiting okay cafeteria Oh god, bear fire hiding place. Dining hall. Yeah, that was close. I could technically just start pausing the recording when I get a text from them. Ooh, dismantling notice. This. The Recio. The dismantling has terminated. Work isn't done, but we're not going to stay here another single minute longer than we have to. Two of the teams that refused to return in the east wing, and Azek and his boys tied a thick cable around one of the fridge doors to keep it sealed. They don't want to open it, even though scores of tools and kitchen utensils are back there, along with a couple of high-quality chest freezers in perfect condition. It's not the first, uh, it's not the first problem we've had, but the situation has gone f too far, so we must leave. I don't blame them. This place makes my hair stand on end. I've been inside for less than any of them. There are still so many things of value in there. Typewriters, radios, luxury furniture. It doesn't matter. As soon as Emil's team returns, we're leaving. I hope they don't tarry or Nightfall is going to catch us here. I wonder what the hell is taking them so long. I hope I don't have to go look for them. And now, because I mentioned it, I'm going to... Nope. You don't want to work right now? I'm gonna pause it because text messages. Okay, I can't alt tab out. There we go. Alright. Let's see where this takes me. I got a feeling that this man's something on the table. There's also something over there. 
An old photo torn to pieces in an attack of anger or despair. Maybe I could put it back together. Oh, wait, we're, we're actually doing this right now? All right, everyone, start with a corner piece. Oh, that's not the corner piece I wanted. Oh, damn, okay. Um, nope, 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 okay. Like so. Um... That looked... <laughs> No. All right. Something like that right now. We'll put that there for now. Legs. Someone sitting. Sorry, I'm trying to see what that is. Hands, clasp, like this. You want like that. Okay. Feet. And a little bit of edge. Yep, I think those two go together. All right, we got two pieces. Oh, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Boo. All right. This is definitely in the middle somewhere. Okay, let's start continuing. Let's move that. Not yet. Put you over there. That, uh, maybe? I want that piece. Thank you. Wait, that. No, I don't think that is a corner piece now that I think about because there's a person right there. This is the corner piece. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, I want that one. Give me that one. <sighs> Alright, let's move you out of the way. Your legs. Legs. I got nowhere for you yet. Wait. Oh, no, it doesn't fit well together, does it? Okay, let's move that closer. I think those go. No, you have to go in the middle. I'm trying to select certain ones, but it's taking forever to get there. Put you down here.
Yes. Woo! Got it. From the highest to the lowest, the seven numbers are in this photo. I don't know what that is. Who's messaging me on Discord now? Nobody important at the moment. Uh, uh, all right. Wine, okay. Useless rusty instruments. Luckily, I don't serve alcohol to mental patients anymore. That's yeah, true. Daniel will probably throw up if he saw me liquor bottles in place. This sounds empty. There's no place to hide though here, so if it hunts, I am screwed. They even have fancy furniture in the canteen. I'm not going near that blanket, bro. I don't trust it. Yeah, if it hunts, I have to run quite a distance. Even though, if you think about it, there's a bunch of tables in here and I could just hide under one. Too many us. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what was in there, but looks like I'll never be able to find out. Which by the size, large pots, knives. They can come in handy, but they're in such bad shape they'll probably just fall apart. All right, we got one. Smack me in the face. Hey there. Welcome back to Song of Horror. I plan on beating the game today. Uh, if you hear anybody talk in the background, it's two idiots in Discord chat who felt like being here. Alright, there's nothing to do with the food. Alright. So yeah, I remember last time I was here and things were happening. Well. Oh. Mm -hmm. My upper was a bit bugged, but I can still see some things. I mean, my end is still moving, I think. Okay. What's left of an old tin can? Can you take any bling? Should I take the drawing? Yeah, sure. Annabelle's lost draw Airedale's lost drawing. So quizzy, any hints and tips of what I should be doing right now? Uh game wise or Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the four of them. I guess you have stuff on your list. Well I'm screen sharing it too. I'm talking about in the scheme in general. Oh, I, I can tell you what you can do. We could do the tournament of power. This is the last level in the game, and I want to beat it tonight. You, you should unlock Ultra Instinct Word to oh. defeat all the monsters. Um, doesn't work like that. 
Also, if it hunts, I have to run back mm -hmm. in that one room. That's the solution I have at the moment. Should I go over there with that thing? It's probably not. Alright, it's nothing. Also, if you wonder where the awkward noise is, I think there's a phonograph in here replaying uh, something in the background, but I don't know where it is. Damn, there's just nothing here for me. Yeah, cause last night I was playing this, got too tired, I'm like, I'm gonna call it. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of it. I'm finishing the game. Man, I love- <gasps> Oh! Mini game time. Come on, don't fail me now. I'm good at the breath holding minigame after I lost two characters to it. Nope! Woo! Go away, you! It's a good thing I have the inhaler with me. Oh yeah, I'm playing as an asthmatic right now. What can go wrong? Right, that, that, that door doesn't open. What have I accomplished? Nothing. I have the drawings, but they lead no they do nothing. No, I, I explored as much over there as I can. I can try going more. No, the right side's locked up. I can't do anything up there. Maybe there's something else I can do outside. Hey, do you guys think I should risk putting my hand through a shattered glass? Uh -huh, I, uh, like a plan. No, I'm not going to do that. There are insta kills in the game. I got people knowing this lady, she's going to cut an artery and kill herself. Also, I've already killed a person. What did you ask? <laughs> Quizzy was smart and said no. You're the one who said yes. Not that way. As much as I would love to get that stapler, I have no idea what it's for. Also, I don't. Hundred seventeen got three keys. What? Hundred seventeen got three keys. Who got three kids? 117, the brother of under C18, the wife of Creedy. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something out here. Oh, right, you're playing Sparking Zero. How is it? Not good. Yeah, I heard the dag is selling so well, all digital codes ran out for a bit. Quizzy, I'd recommend you play in this game next year. It's actually pretty uh -huh. good. I think it's right up your alley because you love uh, adventure games so much. Hmm. I am at a standstill of what I'm doing right now. I don't know. And I refuse to put my hand through broken glass. I know that's gonna kill me. I'm not stupid. Um, 117 just wait, killed wait, wait, me. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry. Ward, you said you're not stupid. Didn't one of your characters die because you jumped out of a window? I opened the window and he slipped. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I'm not. That was a mistake. 
Uh huh. Sorry, Alex. I'm sure the next door is an access room. Okay. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Alex. That's fine. I am missing something. What am I missing? Oh. This lock is too rusty, so I can't jury rig it. That needs power. I don't have any power at the moment. I can't go upstairs. The stairwell is blocked. Mmm. Boy, my choices of what I can do grow bigger and bigger. Um, I refuse to do you. I can't do anything with you. There has to be something in the dining hall I'm missing. Because that sounds stupid, but my hand is broken glass. There has to be something I'm missing. Thank you! Holy shit! Whew. All right, settle back down. It's fine. Nope, 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 nope. Huh. Oh wait, there's a camera. Nope, can't do anything with the camera. Right, I have that picture, which I'm not sure what that does for me. I'm doing the fucking tournament of power. Tournament of power, isn't that early-ish? Or is that later? The tournament of power is, I think, the last thing made. Uh, I never seen new Dragon Ball, so I honestly. Me neither. I'm just playing it. What am I? She missing? got burned to ashes. Unfortunately for you, I can teleport. Dumb bitch. This door, I'm not sure what it wants me to do, but looks like it's held together by a chain, so I can't do anything with you yet. Oh, yes. I just unleashed an evil. That's female Broly. Don't you guys hate it when you take a knot off a door and it actually unleashes evil? What does. What am I using the cable for? <gasps> really, it's holding up. It's been. Can I combine that with you? Yes! Okay, I combined it for the power gen. This is fucking female Broly. Man, so many people are going to be very, very, very confused what you're talking about. Talk 
I have something. I have a cord. Now, does that mean I can actually turn the power on? If so, then I can access more of this uh, place. Baby. I think you're not allowed to fly in the tournament of power. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a start. Now on to the next. Let's go to the morgue first. All right, yeah, you can only activate one at a time. Morgue is active. Now, where's the morgue? Really good question, actually. Where is the morgue? I can actually do the security room. It's just right over there. Get your ride. Park. Yeah, I was grabbed by female Brawley, that's what happened. And that we were in Brawley. This panel locks the security room. Oh wait, what? This is what I want? Oh wait. Whoops. From... Time to defeat an old hobo, it's called Jira. The guy is completely bold. Gotcha! Alright, let me listen before I open the door. I want to die instantly. Since I lost the tooth. Alright, we're good. I see some nods there. Let's have a look. Ooh. Ah, Dr. Baroness Prestigard. It's a good start. Today's session with Ariadne was by far the most productive to date. Not because of the conversation we had, for her mind continues to adhere to the usual extravagant patterns, but because today she asked to get her things back which led me to a surprising discovery. Down in the storage room, I was convinced I would not find any of the belongings taken from her when she was admitted, but there was nothing further from the truth. There was a diary and a music box. After handing the box to Ariadne, I quickly browsed through the diary, which apparently belonged to her father, and that's where it gets interesting. After years of researching paranormal phenomena, Argus Legrand's investigation led him to the Abbey of Saint Cecilia, where a cursed <laughs> concert had supposedly taken place. <laughs> After spending a considerable yeah, amount of harder. money, he got his hands on the only remaining sheet music from the concert, the concert and convinced an acclaimed All musician the to play the music one more time. The new cursed concert would take place on a steamer that would sail down the Rhine a few weeks later, and both Legrand and his assistants would be there to contemplate the true effects of the song. After the concert, the tycoon wrote the following in his diary. 
Those ignorant, illiterate fools. I can only laugh at their curse and their stupidity. The only misfortune that damn song has brought is a hole in my bank account. Alas, at least I take the melody with me. I will have it recorded and play it each day for my family. Ha! Those drunk lazy Well, that was a mistake right their there. Their misfortune was caused by their own stupidity and bad blood. Wanting to put the blame on a song is yet another sample of their Someone. total lack of culture. Mm -hmm. Argos Legrand never knew that the steamer suffered a strange accident that was in just the hours Swedish after he got off that killed ago. everyone on board. And Alex and liked his it. thoughts on the melody eventually like changed. It. They did You're like upbeat songs, right? Change. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the Swedish, but I mean, maybe that wasn't was better. exaggerating. This is much worse than I ever. I really like these guys. Also. All right. I mean, I'll have to listen to it later, not now. Reimagined. Well. Let's see. It's such a shame these rules. That door sounds safe. Ooh, if it chases me, I'm screwed. Which happens. Which happens. the door to open more than a third away or you oh, will just strong. immediately die all right what are we doing all right that still works that's a body that's a body oh it's a mannequin the screen's enormous actually oh there's a hiding spot right there right All right, looks like I need to find something for a projector. Is the presence gone or am I stuck here? The presence is gone, okay. done man another friend of my list is uh playing dragon ball spark and zero shit i don't hear anything This room reminds me of Sign Language. Though. I said this room. Mm. 
There's nothing in here. It's hiding the place. I take a note of that in my brain. It doesn't like the light, but it likes the song. Wait, what? Um, I can't see a thing. Point the light up. Well, that's extremely annoying. Can you not just look up there, ma'am? You're showing me the keys, but you're not pointing your light up there. Got to come back here? Maybe. Sounds good to me. Open up. Huh. Right, this is a... <laughs> Shall I take the drawing down to see what's behind? Now that's a question I don't know the answer of. Maybe, probably. Yes. Looks like two of the hospital's patients shared a little secret. Oh. This place is a huge mess. Seems to hang in there. Okay. This patient kept the Bible next to his bed. Save him in the end. Alright, does that mean I can actually... Oh, I'm hearing voices. That's not good. That means a haunting is about to start. Now, with that being open, does that mean there's light in here? There is... Excellent. Um... Alright, so we want... Alright. Which now... Now that I hear it, this is the theme of the game. That would be triangle. This one, I don't know. Might be that one. I'm ready to play Grab Champions when you guys are. Sorry about that, I'm back. My friends wanted to play a game, so I left. Uh, also, I mute them during the recording because, personally, I don't think it was a good idea to record them, even though I said I wanted to, because 
what they're talking about didn't match with the game, so I viewed them after a while. So I'm sorry about that. I don't think I'll be able to open these drawers. Alright, let's check this door. Pretty darn good, if you ask me. Taxidermy. Oh. Those animals are alive. This room would be like Noah's Ark. A bunch of old chip trophies decorated to the shelf. Let me just change my volume a little bit in game. Around my computer. Yes. Taxidermist instructions. Cryptic notes by us psychiatric patient she blinks awoken by hunger tis night from time and she listens she takes flight swift lethal silent you scream as she tears you away from yourself satisfied she lands on her nest and hoots to the wind announcing her victory her firm grip paralyzes you and blood spills as she feasts she swells and beats her wings and satisfied she sleeps an owl other health issues but the only thing I can think of is an owl is there an owl here or do I have to go somewhere else probably somewhere else all right uh. Okay, so much for that. A small cabinet merge supplies. Lock is broken. Need some kind of tool to open it. So I'm not opening it. Why can't I listen to that door? Immediately, I do not like how I can't op listen to that door. Oh, oh. That's what happened. Whoops. 100% uh, Can't talk? 100% my bad. Did not mean to do that. <clears throat> oh, it just doesn't move. Nope. Let's go. Shit. Never mind. That door's a no go. I might have to keep doing stuff and come back to it later. Did I check this one? I think I walked by it. Uh uh. I need a door for this key. Find a key? Not that way. Damn. Remember, if it hunts, hide. In the musician's room. I'm just gonna turn the volume down just a smidge more. Because when the jump scare things happen, they are extremely loud because jump scares rely on noise mostly than visual. But my goal today, like every time I play this for the past few days, oh, no, 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 sorry about that, tank controls on the stairs, uh, is to beat this game, and I believe the end for me is in sight. All right, I've already been in there, the film projector, I can't do anything with it. Uh, let's go through security. We have a key. We have a small key.
currently have no idea what that's going to though. Now I'm not going back in the dining hall at the moment. There's nothing for me there. Morgue? I could also do the lift, I guess, and it'll take me up, but I don't know where the lift is either. Now, the thing is, is... I don't have anything on me. I don't know. I really don't know. Now, does this door open still? It does. I remember, straight ahead, film projectors. Nothing. spot right mm. I need to somehow raise that so I need to find whatever I need for the projector I don't know where that is I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Give me a second, I see the audio on Discord, not Discord, jeez. On OBS is not behaving at the moment for me. Better. Where can I go? I saw the lights flicker and I started to worry. Did I absolutely check everything in here? I have. Okay. Oh. Film reel. Huh. Okay, sweet. Okay, that's what Tiny Key went for. I'm glad I actually came back. I wonder if this projector still works. We'll soon find out. I bet you 100% it's gonna be a jump scare. I'm gonna drink some of this. Oh, wait, what? Hi, Ariadne. How are you? Do you feel like talking today? Hmm. You know, I think you're right, that I don't see things like you do. If you don't feel like talking, you can draw whatever comes to you first. Well, she gives something that Andrea on the box is present on the table. Turn off the light. It doesn't like the light. The light? 
Who doesn't like the light, Ariadne? Who is that old lady? It's me. We can listen to your box if you want. Sometimes I hear you playing it when I pass by your room. Lady, you don't want to do that. No. No, you don't hear them. You don't see it or understand it. What don't I see? Tell me how to understand you, Ariadne. Sleep. Like me. In my bed. You want me to sleep with you? It, it's, it's normal not to want to sleep alone. Sometimes I get scared at night. I know. Here, at home. Daddy, Mommy, and Elaine sleep there. And they understand. Sorry? You mean you want me to sleep at your house? Yes. Sleep there and listen to the song. And then you'll talk to me. Oh, who's this gentleman? Is it your daddy? No. It's Mr. Neuer. Wait, what? But Mr. Neuer isn't around. I mean, technically he's... Oh, I just cut her off in the middle of something. I'm sorry. See something spots. Right. Ooh, first experiment report. Okay, here we go. Procedure report 3101. Patient Ariande Legrand Armsburg. Therapist Dr. B. Baroness Prestigod. Description The volunteers are divided into two groups the experimental group and the control group. Ugh. The 12 subjects will be placed in individual padded cells. Ugh. Man, come on, hiccup, stop it. The six subjects from the control group north will live there for the duration of the experiment, but not, but will not experience any other changes in their unusual routine. The six subjects in the experimental group south, including Ariande, will be play two cycles of the song from the music box daily, approximately four minutes. This procedure will continue for 21 consecutive days. Notes: the patient is expected to verify that the melody has no effects on people and this fact is presumed to help in the treatment of her mental condition, which does not seem to improve at all nor respond to other treatments. Regardless of the results, and given the young age of the patient, electroshock is not recommended under any circumstances. I mean, good, I'm happy for not getting an electroshock. That's not something you want. Especially for someone so young who I think was played the song way too early in their life. Um, I think we're in the patient room. I immediately don't like what I'm hearing or seeing. Remember, punts, I gotta run back to the film projector. I don't like anything oh right this is the morgue nice second report all right we're gonna skip the beginning parts description monitoring the experimental process detailed okay notes Two of the patients in the experimental group have disappeared. I was doing rounds in the east wing when I began to hear screams coming from their cell the cells. I went in that direction to try and calm the patients down, but they were not, not unresponsive. If not, I'm not sure if they could have heard me. Their screaming was so loud. I ran a security room and returned with the manager. As soon as I opened the cell, we saw it was empty. We could hear shrieking sounds all around us, so it was impossible for sure, but I swear the loud screams were coming from the very room we were about to enter. Besides, 
As soon as we opened the door, all the screaming ceased at once. We checked the rest of the cells, and one of them was empty, but no one moved any of the patients. What the hell's going on? I must get to the bottom of this. Lady, you have no idea, but you and your staff just unleashed hell. Well. Life support machine, I guess. Wait, something's not right. Why would they close the fridge with this bell? Well. <laughs> Broken bell. Huh. According to, I wonder if it could be fixed. Oh. Shit, those pies were having results. I lost count. The times I had an ID, a dead body in the morgue. Damn heroin. A scalpel. Huh. It's thin and sharp. Ooh, I might be able to open that box. What on earth happened to these people? What did they do here? I'm scared to go any farther. Because I'm scared to go any farther. I'm gonna go back with the couple of progression items I got Because that is definitely a zone of doom and gloom um, I'm taking that to the elevator. So we know where the elevator is morgue is done so I can turn the lift on Okay, we have the scalpel which I'm gonna take a guess and saying it's opening that so that's taken care of and What else did I get the belt? I don't know what I'm using the belt for. Um, yeah, no idea. If it hunts, run back to the film projectors. Run back to the film projectors. <laughs> Wait, do I want to... Sorry. I mean, actually, no, 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 no. I want to be this way so I can activate the other thing, because I think I'm done with the morgue. And there's no way I'm going back to that side. I am not going back over there. The darkness has taken over. Mirror! I'm shocked she knows how to use the mirror. Take her. Go away. Man, she's a little jittery with this. I'm not gonna lie. If you think I'm overcompensating, I'm not. She's very jittery with that one, but this minigame. Hmm. I mean, it's fine. Every character in this game has played differently in a way. Or it's just me. Alright, uh, lift. All right, that's done. Don't have to go back in this room again for a bit until I get the... Until I need the stapler. I was gonna say get the stapler, but no. That's if I need the stapler. I don't know if I need the stapler. Oh... Well. Knock this staple at together, maybe. Well, don't we? You would want something stronger than a regular stapler for that, wouldn't you? 
I don't know. All right, so Requiem, we just did that mini game, and then we did the breathing mini game. We have done two out of the multiple we know. Got to be careful going up the stairs because when you change direction and stop for a second, she will turn around sometimes. Okay. All right. If it hunts musicians. Let's do this. I want to beat this game tonight. And then maybe one day I'll replay the game in the hardest difficulty and regret all my life decisions. Alright. We want to use the scalpel. A closed box. Open it. Great. A box of flares. Uh, Alright. Hello? Is there someone there? Huh? What's that sound? Is that the gramophone I've been hearing? It's absurd. I don't even know why I came here. Why I'm here? Have I really begun to believe my patient's story? And yet, there's something that I can't explain. It might just be my mind playing tricks on me, but I've started seeing things. And I hear the music from Ariadne's music box in my head. I need to understand this. There's something threatening about this place. The candles help me make the room a bit more cozy, and the last rays of sunshine still come in through the window. But the shadows in this room make me feel uneasy. All I've done is clean off the dust from an old mattress and lie on it, without even taking my clothes off, since I don't really think I'll get much sleep in this place. The silence here is oppressive, almost solid. Aside from the still hum of the phonograph and the old wooden beams creaking, I can't hear a single thing. Ariadne? Where am I? 1920, the first dream. Am I dreaming? Dreamcatcher. Nothing bad will happen to me as long as I have this with me. I can't see anything outside. There's nothing but darkness. I can't go across the door. Now, I don't think you can die with her since this is in the past. What is this place? That, that's me. What am I doing in the painting? It's here. I felt it again. It happens sometimes, though always at night. When I turn out the lights, almost unperceivable. Barely, just barely pass through my eyes can see or when I close my eyes watching me with eyes that are not such lurking in the frontier between wakefulness and sleep my dreams are unusual and my rest troubled when I wake I remember seeing something in the distance through a window that I can barely make out or in a fleeting reflection on the bright surface of the river as I walk arm in arm with my fiance lost in the muds of the great war other times I dream of a crowd just watching me, and that thing is there, among their gray faces devoid of expression. And when I notice its existence, I stop being capable of finding it. Do I really want to? Do I mean to find it? What does it all mean? Is it going to be her face? 
I mean, yes. Wake up. It's it, it it's me. Yeah, I don't think I can die. So, real quick, if you have an item that says I'm safe when holding it and it's a passive, just like with Sebastian. I have a hair in my mouth, sorry. I believe it is a you cannot fail in this part of the story. Do not worry. Because it says, as long as I have this, nothing bad will happen. And it's in the past. I don't think I can die. So I'm not going to expect anything that's going to be able to kill me. Ooh, we're playing Silent Hill 2 right now. We're going down the sewers. Also, you'll have to forgive me that this is going to be late. I really hope you enjoyed, uh, you're enjoying, um... Shock Holmes The Awakened. It is not much of a horror game as you think. It's still a good game though. It has some creepiness to it, so yeah. It's the same room, and yet it's not. Oh god, who would paint pictures like that? Who is this man? Oh yeah, about him. Who is this person? What happened to him? Why am I seeing these people? You're seeing the future. I dare not name it, but I know it's here. There's a presence that follows me everywhere and nowhere at once. In the walls and the ceilings. But also buried in my mind, digging through my thoughts and painting them in the color of fear. Everything becomes a little darker each day. God, what's happening to me? Where is where the when there's silence, I hear the melody soft. Slow, beautiful, dark, sinister, terrifying, cruel. If I pay close attention, those impossible notes and unnatural chords echoing from the deepest caverns reach me without passing through my ears. In my dreams, I descend towards an indescribable place. I beg never to go get the sea. When I wake, all I remember is the dread. That thing is all at the end of the road. It is there i know it's there it's that if that's even a place they're the same it is there no it is not it equals it equals there it can't be real it cannot be of this world she didn't get startled this time but my controller is vibrating she got startled enough It's me again. What does this mean? Wake up, and also the face is cracking more and more. You know, I need to stop listening to the door for this part. Oof, I'm sweating a little. Ooh. God. Where am I going? Hey! It's no woman for Ariane Day's drawing. It's Ariane Day, according to herself, in the future. Is this one gonna be Daniel? Yep. What, what does he have to do with me? Who is this person? I've never seen him before. It's behind every door. Waiting for me to step through. It's in the cracks in the ceiling. Waiting for me to walk in. It's in each shadow. Read new King Cranny. Waiting for me to turn my back. It's in the mirrors waiting for me to look. Does it know that I'm aware of it? Please, please tell me it doesn't. No, 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 no. If it knows that I know, it will come for me. The melody twists, warps, played by grotesque instruments no person could have created. Starts out with this awful screeching sound, slowly transforms until it can be heard amidst all the shrieking in anguish. I want to close my eyes. I'm already asleep. I can't, I don't want to get there. These are not nightmares. More than that. I wish they were nightmares. But those are gone. They died of fear a long time ago. All that remains is the horror and the plateau, only the presence and the forbidding echoes of the song. I want to disappear, stop the suffering, the torment, never hear or see anything again. 
I want to stop feeling it, enduring it. I have to finish it. I must do it. I must, I must get there. And this one probably be more horror. So while that happens, I'm gonna check my phone actually. Wake up! Wake up! Oh God, what is happening to me? You're going mad. Oh, no stairwell this time. Oh, never mind. There it is. Oh, this lady is going deep in the madness. She's not coming back out. <laughs> Is that me? Should I take the bag away? Take it for myself. Wake up! Damn it. I fell asleep. The candles have practically melted through and the wax cylinder on the phonograph is about to run out. I saw something. I don't know what I contemplated in my dreams, but it felt so real it almost felt like i was moving forwards or rather downwards but i don't know towards what erin has decided to investigate ariadne's story and she found something i need to keep looking into this poem by all right i drift off asleep by the hundredth number to be carried away despite resistance somewhere else out of the distance devoid of of deep peaceful slumber the song it beckons it calls me to its screams guiding me to the depths of my own mind an ominous glimpse the sole thing i find something dark impossible to believe these cannot be only dreams have i been condemned did i become lost what i'm seeing what it means endless expanse made of stone and past the perpetual eclipse the rib of a sun that is not our own well, well. All right. Ooh, among these strange drawings is a note that says Elaine Ariande's sister murdered alongside her mother. Ariande was just a baby. How can she remember? How can she remember this? I don't know. Do we have any keys? No, I got a box of flares. All right, remember, it hunts musician. But I think we're done up here. Interesting. Am I going to be coming back to this room often? I got a feeling we're going to be having more of those. Alright, so we got a box of flares and a belt. Not sure what I'm using that for. Ooh, getting a little sweaty. Sorry, just want to check my obvious. Right now, some things are looking a bit weird for me. behave you sorry the discord not the discord the obs wants to misbehave and i'm trying to make this last episode grand and i feel like i'm on the verge of beating this i do problem is if i die i have to redo everything so i don't i think you only get to play one character all right uh we're going to the elevator to take a right. In the Spooksville we go. I am not going near those cells. 
I don't like the looks of those cells, not gonna lie. This place? Yeah. I'm gonna call it not ground zero, that's the house. And even that's not ground zero, but I am not going anywhere near those doors. I'm curious though. Oh, yeah, no, not happening. Daniel. Oh, okay, yep. I'm not going near the pad cells, everybody. Too bad. Um, I can't hear through them. It's an issue. I don't go near things I can't hear through. Huh. The bell that connects the lift gears is shredded into pieces. Oh. Damn it, we need... Oh, hiding. <laughs> Anything over here? Oh, I hate that. I hate that right there. The gurney is blocking the... Let me guess, padded? We're not even looking at him. Nope. Wonderful. Oh, so I have to reach my hand through the glass. I don't want to, but I gotta go through the glass. <laughs> Wonderful. Put your hand in the glass. Uh, I don't want to, but I think I got to. Unless... We have the flares. The darkness is in that room. Completely in that room. Am I using the flares in that room? Oh god. If so, it's gonna be a run and dash, because flares don't last. Ooh. Is that a time limit? I got a feeling it's the time limit. Alright. We got a box of flares. We're going back over there. Still got one drawing. I don't know what they're for. I don't know how many there are. We got one. All right, so. Yeah, because technically I don't think I've really been down there. Well. If I die from what I'm about to do, I'm going to be pissed. Oh. You know what? Because I'm nearing an end, I'm going to... Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. I... Yep. We're about to do a run and gun. We're 
back. Camera's going in there, it's dark. Yeah. Go. Alright. At least we've got some light now. Do I dare go in? Take a deep breath and find what you need. What am I looking for? No. Ooh. Okay, that's one. Did we already go in here? I think we did, yes. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Uh, Not tempted fate. Because we use the stapler now. I'm sorry, but I'm not tempting fate. Nope. We got gloves. This game does its atmosphere so well. If they ever made a sequel, man, I will be excited to not play it immediately. <laughs> I have to say, despite the character models and the mouth movements, sometimes they look a bit jank. And the mini games, they can explain them a lot better. What? They need to do better explain the mini games when they first show up. Because I've lost too many. Oh wow, she is a calm person. Well, she is a doctor. She's seen a lot of horrors in her life. Stay calm. Don't let the darkness take you. Breathe. 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 You got this. You are a badass. Come on. What just happened exactly? Nope, stop running. No need to run. There we go. Yes. Combine that with the belt. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. I have a feeling if you reached in there, death. Or she would just cut herself. We got progress, baby. But yeah, the pad cells, as much as I would love to open a door, I'm not going in without hearing what's behind. Because remember, the second level, there's that one room that's like, oh, these doors are so thick and barricaded, you can't hear what's behind them. And then if you look on the video camera, there's that presence waiting for you behind the door. I try and be careful. But yeah, if they ever made a second one, improve on the tutorials in a way show how the mini games work a bit better but then again, i get this game's all about probably replaying um i love how i'm talking about things they can prove in the sequel if they make one like i did like i i beat the game when i still have game left well i'm just trying to take my mind off things right now but yeah uh they should also you know improve on some of their faults here and there some of the puzzles are a bit hard for some people me but that is a fault of me not them some puzzles could be used to explain things a bit better all right
Um, yay. How pathetic would it be if this thing falls and I die in here? Yeah, it would be. It's a death elevator. You just instantly die when you get in it. It's actually a trap. Where's it going? Well, at least I made it out of the Oh, we're on the other side. Uh uh. No. Okay. Can't go down there, debris blocking the staircase. All right, we only have one way to go. Still gonna listen. Be a jerk to stick the presents right here, right now. Okay, one second. All right. I've been recording for 46 minutes in this session. A bunch of newspapers, shapeless form or something like that. I am hearing nothing. I'm happy with what I'm hearing. Got it. Oh, a letter written from an artist. A brief message written by the, a friend. I found this among the photos of a history magazine. It looks a lot like the drawings done by your patient, the little girl, doesn't it? I've attached a copy. It must be a coincidence, but even so, discovering the origins of the image made me shudder. It's from the walls of a newly discovered chamber in the caves of Altim El Altamira, Altamira in Spain. The paintings, the painting is from a patholytic Oh, geez, I can't talk to that. Local archaeologists have ruled it's around 40,000 years old. Find three ominous references to ancient times. I did not think that was an achievement. Ah, well. Wait, information. She blinks. Eyes. She blinks. Tis nighttime, she listens. Um, takes flight. You, you scream as she tears you away from yourself. Satisfied, she lands on her nest. And Hoots. Her firm grip paralyzes you. Blood spills as she feasts. She swells and beats her wings. And satisfied, she sleeps. All right, I like that puzzle. That was a good one. There are some puzzles I like and some I don't. A tag for employee, Alan Cedric. One of the highland, uh, hospital's doc, I will say islands. Hospital's doctors. A uh, staff lounge with a fireplace and comfortable sofas. I've never seen anything like this in any places where I worked at. The newspaper is illegible as the rest of the brief. Ceiling. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that was a very good room. Very good room indeed. Um, give me a second. Yeah, let's go this way and lock the door. This is the way. Yeah, okay, because this is locked from the other side. Now I can go. Uh, do we want to go through that door? No, let's go for the door in front of me first. 
this door. I feel like I am almost done. Maybe. We'll see. A working phonograph. They're probably... Ooh, inter... Oh, nothing I can do there. What's this? I could hide here. Good, good, good. I'm no gambler, but I bet there's something on that table. The problem is, do I want to go in there? That was dark, man. That is dark. We're gonna bite the bullet here. I'm gonna go in. Also, sorry for the weird pauses. Also, it's locked on the inside. What the hell is this? Well, never mind. We're not going in there. As simple as that. It's locked on the other side. Now, I don't know how I can grab it if it's on the other side. Okay. What do we have here? Okay. Oh, uh, what are we doing? doing every do I want to go to the director's office is the goal that nothing there that would be the middle that's down there what I unblocked. I literally was just... I assumed director's office and I just kept turning. I'm a good guesser, man. Great guesser. Uh-uh. I want in there. Got itch on my head. Ah, sorry about that. So, I'm gonna all tap out again. There's something I want to see. That. Okay. That's all I wanted to see. Alright. We're almost done. Alright, so. I honestly have no idea what I just did. I was turning valves, director's office was literally the cleanest plaque on that one. And I'm like, I guess we're doing director's office. Turn, 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 turn. I should have counted because literally if I count it, I should have been fine. I'm like, I should have, could have, but I didn't. 
Recording three of Beatrice. The last cylinder. The end of the story. Please, Baroness. Give me something I can use. I got feeling it's not going to end happily. Debris among everything, not useful. Their experiment. Skip those. Five patients from the experimental group have disappeared. All except the original test subject, Ariane de Legrand Armsburg. I don't know if they have escaped or the wall swallowed them, but they've left no trace. Security did not register any relevant incidents either. I looked for the doctor to inform her of this, but she's nowhere to be found. When I asked Ariane de if she had seen her, she shook her head and asked me if she was finally there. I asked her what she meant, but she didn't say anything else. It has been impossible to reestablish communication with her. I have a terrible feeling about this. I should. Documents. Uh, Dr. Hartwood. Okay. Wait, wait. So I have a key. A key hit with passage of time. No, not that. Uh, are there any locked doors? That one up there have yet to go in. Oh, sorry. I just see. Um, I have yet to go up there or go in any of the padded rooms. So we're going to go up there. There's no way I'm going near those padded rooms right now. Like I said, I'm going with chapter two logic on it. <gasps> hey, ma'am, how you doing? game I'm getting good at baby uh, fear just paralyzed me I don't blame you honestly if I was in your shoes and that happened to me I wouldn't know what to do either I part me at the moment be like I'd run what if it would do as soon as you even try to make a move that thing would be on you in a heartbeat. Nice one. Excellent. Real quick. All right. Yeah, I want to be the badass. It's like, oh, I'll take care of it. I wouldn't. Disturbing conclusions of one of the hospital's psychiatrists. Doctor. Pres Prestigard was right. At first glance, I was dismissive of her experiment. Why, why waste all those resources on proving to a sick girl that what she claims to see was due to abnormal functioning of her psyche? Yeah, it all made sense when the subjected, when she subjected the patients to the song in the music box, and when the doctor began to describe her own experiences. The rapid mental and cognitive decline and the hallucinations suffered by the subjects in the experimental group became impossible to ignore. Based not only with a new disorder, but, at, but also once the effects described spread to the hospital staff, for the very first time in history, a contagious mental illness, a Nobel Prize on silver platter. In light of the results, however, facts confound my expectations. The song completely broke their minds and took them all to the pinnacle of their madness. That's the one thing that data shows what they all share in common, except for Ariane de Legrand Armsburg. That girl's the only one from the group who's still with us. Her cell is the only. The label on the diary reads Dr. Alan Cedric. Great. It's a stethoscope.
Oh, it's a stethoscope. The padded cells. Makes sense now. Oh, is that one room safe yet? That one might not be a good one at all. So I also gotta remember what happened during the um, chapter three? No, four. It was one of them. Uh, there was that one room that always had that scraping sound behind it. And with there being some rooms in the game that are perma instant death, that might just be one of them. Let's head to instant probably insta-death corner. I'm gonna call that insta-death corner because I got a feeling every one of those doors, if you opened it, would kill you. Just saying. All right, the hunts, I'm good. There's a bug climbing on my wall. It was a little stink bug, so it's not, you know, too annoying. All right, we'll start over here. Remember, if it hunts, I have to run back to the films. For no, actually, no. There's that cabinet up there. Never mind. She has the stethoscope on, which is very useful. No! Are all these death? Or is one gonna be safe and all the Others death. Wait. Here we go. We found one. Syringe and it's to inject medicine. Wow. It's pretty big. It looks like they used it a lot. It doesn't have a disposable syringe. Got it. Oh, I need the needle for something. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go back up. Yeah. I think we're done here. I'm in the wrong button. Not sure. Um, or I could just go back up the stairs. Those stink bugs in my lamp now. Well, it doesn't hurt to check. Actually, it probably does. No. So what, is it random? Every time you start this level, all these rooms are randomized? Yeah, okay. One of these rooms is safe, the rest are just dead. And I bet you it's random. If so, cool. Don't want too predictable. Ignore the screaming, guys. There's nothing we can do. And if you're like, what's screaming? There was screaming in the back room in the game. Go back up the stairs. Guys, I don't want to say it right now. This, I believe, 
is the ending of this level. That will have no answers, probably. I'm gonna expect it to have no answers. It's gonna be more like, well, um, I screwed up, shouldn't have done that, goodbye, I'm dead. It's like, what? Stupid little bug flying on my light. I'll get rid of you right now if I wasn't in the middle of a very important game. A game which episode might go to three hours if I'm not careful. Can I open you? Mm -mm. Damn. How do you open that? I'm actually very curious because I do want to open that. Actually, give me a second, for I am going to cheat and just look how to open that door. All right, so I looked up how to open that door. I don't. Shit. Oh. Am I missing one? Well, actually, let me back out and pause the game before I go too hands deep in the figuring this one out. Oh, I have to go back up there, maybe? Maybe I came here too soon. I gotta go back to her office. I'm not allowed to use recording three before recording two. I thought there was, I didn't know there was recording two. I should take a guess. I am literally at the end of the chapter. I am trying so hard to be careful. And the problem is that carefulness will kill me. like I won't be using this door. The phonograph is fucked up. I'm gonna need to listen to one other. All right. There it is. Let's see what happened after that dream. Uh, the bad news is, is now I'm taking the long way around to get to that door. Damn it. I didn't know that door was almost broken. My luck, am I right? I didn't know how to pick it up. I have the rest of the game in my pocket and I had to go listen to them only for the knob to fall off and not to go all the way around, take the elevator, go back up that hallway. And I refuse to run. I like the music up there, it's calming. This isn't, it's quiet. I have to get back to that room so I can listen. Leave it to me to screw things up, eh? Yeah, this place is just death. There's nothing good here anymore. There was nothing good here. All right, let's hope the elevator still works. It's a shame if I just locked myself out completing the game. I'm just gonna skip that. I'm just gonna skip that too. All right, we're going to that door all the way at the end of the hallway. I'm waiting for something to show up on this side.
we can do it now. Let's beat the game, everybody. All right, let's see what happens. On the one hand, I just want to get out of here. But on the other, I need to know what's happening. I need to understand the dreams this place causes in me and the visions I've had these past few days. It's pitch black outside and the old mansion is even more menacing than before. I've taken out my last two candles, but lighted only one, in case I wake up before dawn. It would terrify me to be here, alone in the dark. Another horror franchise. I'm in Ariadne's room again. The second dream. And I think we got this. I'm not skipping. Is this the same dream? We'll find out, Miss Dreamcatcher. No. The hospital, it can't be real, right? Death is everywhere in this place. Dreaming. Yeah. This arcade as well. If we're not careful. Oh. Lock. Who are you? Are you also me? The dream catcher. Give it to me. You don't need it. It's a dream. the thing she has to keep going no choice i must keep going i want to run and get this over with also i know nothing can harm me in this dream sequence like i said i don't think they'll kill people in the path ah! To me where am i now i was supposed to die only one way out only one way out no way why didn't the owl for to help me escape where did that come from i don't know what's going on i don't like this what what do i pretend to do with a knife No. Why do I have this noose? This can't be happening. Ah, uh, only one way out. Yep. Oh my god. Shall I drink from this bottle? Arsenic. Why would I do something like that? I know I'm closer to understanding something, to finding that last puzzle piece. But I also realize there's no turning back. I feel like I've broken something inside of me that can't be mended. Each dream feels closer to that place. 
and further from reality. It's still dark outside, but it seems like the candle burned out a while ago. It must be close to dawn. Yes, it can't be long now. I have to find answers. Get to the bottom of this matter. I understand Ariadne and what is happening to me. The story goes... Hello. What? Hello? This room is the same one where Berenice interviewed Ariadne. Hey, got an achievement for finding all the drawings. I'm just gonna leave now because I have the end of the game in my hands. And I'm not tempting fate. I'm sorry. All right, let's play it. Oh, the needle broke. And now you. You're breaking yourself, this lady, place. by doing this. That thing, the presence, that's what Argos Legrand called that horror. Now I know why. It's anywhere the song is. In the hospital, in Ariadne, in me, everywhere. Maybe there's no solution. Maybe it isn't something you can just end. But maybe cut it off from everything, from, from this world. Burn the bridge. Return the song to whence it came. If I take the box to that place, if I leave it there, with the presence, I need to push forward just a little longer. I need to understand. I need to put an end to this. I need to go there. Hmm. Don't go too far. I need to know. I need to make it. The problem is you're going too far. And we've seen you in the future. You are broken, lady. You are devastated. I keep accidentally cutting dialogue off. My bad. Down. Oh, there's no light source. Oh, there's no light source in this one. Oh, no. No, we're watching it. Come back to where the sun shone Down, down where the darkness sleeps Gone we are for all eternity Man, they're really putting in perspective how far down she's going She is a lot braver than me I would not go down. Holy cow. We get it. Oh, wait. There's a green ore on hue down here. You've came a long way. Is it? Is it the door that Daniel saw? Where am I? Oh, her heartbeat Ariadne? is. She is Everything beating right now. Trust me. 
her the controller is vibrating. It is. Yeah, that's the door. But who is that? They're alive. Their head's moving. Is that her? Or is that Ariande? Maybe if I turn out the lantern, but isn't that me? What will happen if I turn it off? Should I turn it off? Yes. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I just got three achievements. Hello? Dan, I don't know what this means, but I oh, think it's important. Oh, thank God you're all right. What did you find? That doctor. I, I think something terrible happened to her. She wanted to take the box to a place she called there. Does that make sense? I think I know what she meant. Listen, there's no time to waste. Get out of there. I'll take it from here. Where's his phone connected to? It's like going through his window. All right, I kept Daniel alive this entire game. Let's not screw up whatever this happened. That happened. Ariadne was right. She was right about everything. I've seen it with my own eyes. Even if it was in dreams, it's true. That place, the presence. I know what I have to do. Now that I'm awake, I need to, I need to get the music box and find a way to take it there. Yes. I solved this riddle. Now that I'm awake, I can put an end to this horror once and for all. Now that I'm awake, I can... I can... Awake. Oh, she fell back asleep. there what saved ariadne would not save me she had grown up with that melody and had developed a mind so distorted that it could withstand the horrors it saw each day but there was another way out to break the connection between our reality and that terrible place to take the song and its nightmares to their place of origin i was the only person who could do it the only one who had heard the melody and so far lived to tell the story time was running out the mansion was still far away and my damned car chose that precise moment to go belly up everything seemed to conspire against me but i wasn't about to give up there wasn't much time left but i knew i still had a chance let's do this daniel we have the solution but be a she was taken out. The darkness took her back in the slumber and broke her. Her back. We have to go there. This is the over. Just find the box and take it to that place. This is the second time, if you think about that, I'm playing Daniel, everybody. The second time. I haven't played Daniel since. Oh god, I don't remember. <laughs> My bad. Okay. We have our drawings. Not sure I'm using them for, but let's do this. Come on, you got this. I can I can't see around it in there. Don't see any activity. No use listening, just go. Turn my volume up a bit now. Hello. She doesn't answer. I should go inside. Ariadne. I have to find her and ask her. There's a, were ever any birds in there? It was a long time ago. Alright, lost the flow. Okay, find her. Broken mirror. 
old radio. Every book. Map not available. I think I can run. Mrs. Legrand. Oh. The box. The music box I gave you. I need it. Please tell me where it is. Its box is upstairs. Thank you. I promise I'll free both of us from that cursed thing. Oh, wait. Upstairs, Mr. Neuer. In my room. There. Elaine, Ariadne's older sister. What a senseless tragedy. We're going upstairs. She wants to help me. I don't need help. But she does. Oof. Let's end this, everybody. Let's end this game. It's actually quite quiet on this part. Now I don't know which one's her room, so we'll have to look around. Oh, okay. the box is somewhere on this floor. No. Go. Nope, not this door. I can see the courtyard and the main entrance. It has to be one of the small doors, one for each daughter, probably. <laughs> no, never mind. No way. Oh, wait. A little girl's personal notes. Nope. Mm -hmm. Tear this house down. It's nothing but bad memories. There it is. There it is. I see it next to the mirror. Be careful of the mirror, Daniel. Remember how the mirror works. Oh, we're doing it. We are doing it. Oh, we're actually going to see how this works this time. Because last time Sebastian P. Husher died. Oh. Where am I? The mirror is broke. We're here. The city is blazing. Look at all. Oh, I just know this. Look at all the bodies around. Oh my. What's this? Beatrice. Sure. Dr. Prestigard? I keep calling her Beatrice. I'm sorry. I keep calling her Beatrice. <gasps> Oh, wait. A nightmare. I'm her? Oh, sorry. Just my seating. What am I doing? There are still two patients who haven't heard the song, but I don't remember who they are. Oh. Wait, so what am I doing? Have you recently dreamed about an eclipsed sun? Nothing. A solar eclipse towering over a great expanse. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? Uh, no. Have you recently dreamed about uh, an eclipsed sun? That man's mad. No. 
Oh, woman. Uh, the woman's mad. I'm looking at the scribblings. So, number three, mad. But no, let's go number four. I want to go in order. So, two says no, but they seem fine. Three has a bunch of scribblings. One didn't talk to me. Ariadne, are you there? He always lies. The man next door. He always lies about his dreams. Okay, so she's definitely heard the song. 100% everybody. The man next door lies. Have you recently dreamed about an eclipse sun? So he heard the song. She heard the song. I'm going to say number three heard the song. Because they're quick, Cray. A solar eclipse towering over I see the shadow expanse. figure. Have you seen anything like that in your dreams? No. Okay. Uh... So, all the right side, and honestly, number three. So, one and two. Hmm. The machine will play the melody in the cell I picked. One and two. Oh. Is that right? And then two. Um, I don't know if I did this right, everybody. We'll find oh, out in a no, second. It can't be. Uh, oh, please. Wait. What does that mean? Oh, two lanterns went out. Is that a good sign? The lantern blew out. If I could just do the same with the rest. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um. Legrand. I don't know which one to do. Argos Legrand. All right. Where are the rest? Oh, okay, they're back here. All right, which one are you? Isaac Farbar. Might as well. Mr. Farbar? Huh? Hey, we're playing a character we never played before because by the time we find him, he died. Now what are we doing here? What are we doing here? What is this? I don't know what this is. is this that Silent Hill 2 puzzle where in the uh I have to escape the nightmare. I have to escape this map at all costs. Oh What's this? Oh, it's that thing. They show the bodies. Isaac Fabar's bodies. Oh, okay. This is kind of like this. Uh, so real quick, this is kind of like the Silent Hill 2 puzzle when you're in the prison and or is a slight note in the prison. It's the nightmare prison. You have to pull on a noose to the people who were hanged innocently? Was it innocence? They were, if they, you hung them, they were innocent, I think? I um, okay. Definitely the one right there in front of me. So this one. Nope, there. Nope, there. <laughs> A Fabar was hung. In the middle. Is that one more time? Okay. 
one second. It's this, that one right there. So it's next to this one. So it's this one. Right here. Nope. There we go. Noise. All right. Um. This. Come on. This one? I might be wrong about this one, sadly. I'm not sure. Oh, you have to do them all at once? Okay. <laughs> he keeps getting scared. And then it was right in front of the camera. Is there three of them or more? I think I only saw three. Because this one was right in front of the camera. Oh. Just like how he went. Another lantern out. One remained. Oh, never mind. Come on, Daniel. Man up. Be a man. Listen, start singing. This place. There. My way. Oh my god. Uh, one second. Screenshot. Okay. Start singing my way. And now. The end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, see you never run. Did it. You have left the music box where it belongs. There and back again. Are we good? Is it done? I got a feeling this is not a happy ending game because Eldritch Horror games don't end happy. Because an Eldritch Horror is too strong for you just to get rid of. Well, let's go talk to Ariande. Or can we leave? Oh. Dude, just leave. She's already mad. She's not going to care. Everything will be okay, Mrs. Legrand. Ah, and that song will never play in this world again. Oh. I... I must have fallen asleep. Uh, what time is it? No, no, no. It's getting late. Do you mind if I turn on the light? No. He doesn't like the light. She has the music box. No. But it likes... the song. <laughs> Yeah.
Happy endings do not happen in these games. She experienced the horror for so long, man. door you shut with him kills Daniel ah uh. I expected a weird ending it definitely was weird I'm just gonna get right with OBS don't worry but uh I didn't expect that type of weird ending I'll tell you that um all in all, good game. Horror was great. Um, so the ending, in a way, loops around from the beginning of the game. The very first time you see that door. Ah. Oh. So Daniel's behind that door. And because I shut it, I killed him. So question is, if I let that door open, and he dies, of course... Does Daniel then live? Hmm. I don't know. But, all in all, this was an amazing horror game, and I'm a wimp with horror, and I think this was a really good game. Sometimes the puzzles were a bit infuriating, which is why I skipped them a bit for you. Uh, I've got mad some character deaths. All in all, I absolutely love the atmosphere, the music, the tone, the th everything the game is going for. It definitely was an indie game with the character models and all that, but when the game is good, you can look past that. Uh, it was five episodes. Each one's about two, two and a half. Oh my god, those are some fast credits. <laughs> Not doing that! But yeah, all in all, uh, thoroughly enjoyed the game. Hmm. Huh. I'm curious if you replay the game and you let him die there, if Daniel is saved at the end. Or is that just the end of his- No! You can't lose mini games. That'll be the first mini game, so... No matter what, Daniel's screwed. Hmm. That's shame for him! What happens then if you kill Daniel at any point in the game? Does it change how the game ends and goes? I don't know, but this is the end. The creds were fast, and this is it. I hope you guys are enjoying October. I know I am. Uh, I'm sorry for releasing this episode late. It took me about a week to get this one done. I was very tired from work. On top of that, I procrastinated a bit, and I moved Sherlock Holmes up a day. But get that out there. Just do it. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'm sorry if this one's long. But yeah, I had a great time. But yeah, I will see you back in Sherlock Holmes. But until then, um, I would recommend you pick up this game if you want a horror experience. Because it will surprise you at multiple turns. With little hints here and there. Like when you see that guy hanging in the window and all this and that. Just There's all these little things. They do things well. If they do a sequel, mm, I want to see how they improve. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye. And for me, ooh, good night. <laughs>